Do you know that no one will come to save you? A hmm? couple of years ago, I quit my regular job and I decided to start my own business. I didn't have any strong plan what I would do next, but I felt excited. And two weeks later, uh, I got my first client, my first big project, and I was very happy. But uh, one month, month, month uh, later, uh, the things uh, goes on very bad, bad direction. Uh, I was under very huge pressure. Uh, it influenced my uh, personal life and Finally, uh, two months after quitting my job, uh, I become depressed. My girlfriend left me, I couldn't work, and eventually I even uh, to become a suicidal. So it was a very dark time in my life. But something interesting happened. One day I realized that no one will come to save me. And it was a turning point in my life. It was a trigger to my personal development, and I start, I start to study myself and the nature of reality. And I ask myself a question, what actually creates my reality? So right now, imagine a square or a frame. You can look at the screen behind me. On the bottom is your memory and your memories. On the left side, your behaviors and uh, patterns in your life and the habits. On the right side, your emotions. And on the top, your beliefs or your belief system. Let's start with foundation, your memories. Since you were born, you are constantly learning the world. So you are a student from the very beginning. And literally, you are programmed from the outside, for example, by, by your environment, by your parents, by your colleagues, by your boss, your employees, and so on. So basically, uh, you're programmed by their system of beliefs and, of course, some of your experiences. So you are a copy of, of, the, of the people who uh, have their own system of beliefs. And uh, there is also a, a deeper level of, uh, of, of your memory is plugged into your DNA. It's your biological memory. A great example of the biological memory are your natural skills, your talents because no one teach you that. Yeah? Uh, the next dimension is, uh, are your, your habits. Because by evolution, we are equipped uh, by, by the subconscious mind. It's the system that's helped you make, make your life uh, more power efficient and more effective. So, you don't have to think about it all the time. For example, breathing. Uh, of course, you can focus on your breath, right? And you can control it. But for the most of the time, you don't, even, uh, you don't have to even think about it. The same is with your behaviors. Uh, so, research saying that uh, about 95% of your choices are made by your subconscious mind. It's subconscious decisions. So you see how important it is to make a good habits that serves you. Because if your habits doesn't serve you, you have a problem. So you have only 5% of, of the time in, in, your, in your daily life that you can change it and you can control it. Uh, next thing, uh, connected to to your uh, to to this this model, it's uh, it's your emotions. Actually, emotions is the bridge between your subconscious mind and your body. 
For example, like before the speech, I, I felt anxiety and, and uh, I feel s stress in my chest and my solar plexus. So emotions are the, the system that try to warn you, for example, for, uh, for, for something. Yeah? This is uh, public speaking is dangerous for you, for your ego, for example, because you don't want to fail. You don't want to be rejected. The same situation is when you want to ask your boss for a race. You don't want to fail that because your ego wants to be, be strong. Yeah? And the, the, last things, the last thing is our, our beliefs. But what actually our beliefs are? It's nothing else but opinion. Opinion that you uh, decide that this is, this is a true. You, you consider opinions that this is a true for, for your life. So we, when we back to, to our memory, for example, your parents were always telling you that life is hard. It becomes your system of beliefs. So right now, your life is hard. Okay, so right now we have four dim dimensions, but how to change our reality, our perception, our beliefs, our habits, even our memories? It's consciousness and the focus. Because if you are present right here, right now, you can control it. So really try to be present. Because if you think about it, the only way to access to the reality is right here and right now. Time doesn't exist, right? Because you don't have any access, real access, physical access to your past and the future. The only access you have is right here and right now. So it's very important to be more conscious to expand this five percent of your conscious choices to more and more and more and actually you can train it like a muscle and the best tool for that is very advanced technology called meditation maybe you've tried it uh, Actually, uh, personally, I, I meditate two, two, two times a day, in the morning and in the evening, and sometimes in the middle of the day, Be because it gives me, uh, give me uh, control of my life, because when you are present, you become the observer of what, what's uh, actually happening in your reality. You can, if you focus on your habits, you can actually map your habits, write it down, and try to change it. Change it. The same thing is with uh, emotions. Before the this, this speech, I, was, uh, I had actually a panic attack. But with meditation, I could change my emotional state and my thoughts. And I switch that state to a very positive. I start to smile and uh, made some, some mantras. So I become more relaxed and full open to, to, the, to the speech. Yeah. The focus is the next thing because actually focus triggers reticular activity system, RAS. It's basically uh, the filter of your reality. It works uh, in the way that, for example, you want to buy a car or a dress or something, name it, X. And this is very important to you. So you do some research, you know exactly what kind of type of car you want to buy. And next thing, what is happening in, in your real reality, that you are starting to perceiving more and more this kind of cars or, or dresses in your reality. So the thing is, 
that, that things were there all the time, but now you perceive it more frequently because you programmed your RAS, uh, you, basically you send a message, this car is important to me, this dress is important to me, this X is important to me. So in the end, I want to I wanna share a story of, of this guitar. When I was 14, uh, I just wanted to uh, play the guitar and learn to play the guitar. So I started to save my money uh, and after a couple of months, I asked my dad, okay, can I buy a guitar? And he said, no, you can't. And he took my money, he took my savings. So I thought, oh, okay, I am done. But uh, one, one thing, one thought in my mind were telling me, okay, I, can I cannot buy the guitar, but actually I can make one. So I started to study the guitar construction. Uh, I haven't any access to internet or any mentor or anything. So basically I ha haven't uh, figured out this, this uh, for myself. Yeah. So I start to study how to build. I start to make uh, some designs uh, and how to operate the tools. So eventually, after one year, I built my first guitar. But it was a disaster. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was trying again and again and again, and this is the fourth one. So moral of the story is if you want something really bad, you will find a way or build one. And I want to leave you with a, with, a, with a question. Are you still waiting for permission? Thank you. <laughs>